President Emerson Nangagwa yesterday threatened to wield the axe on poorly performing San UPF members and those deployed in government because they would cost the ruling party in the 2023 elections. Nangagwa made the remarks while opening a Politburo meeting in the capital. It is unacceptable that those given positions of responsibility simply sit in offices with little to show for it. Non performers will face consequences, Nangagwa said, before admitting that factionalism was tearing the ruling party apart. The party remains the backbone of the nation. There is no room for mixed messaging within our party. We are a party of order with clear procedures. I challenge the party to courageously remove any cancerous cells that undermine the party unity and focus. The president also urged San UPF members to roll out a massive election campaign to ensure a landslide victory next year. I, therefore, exhort us to proffer robust proposals that inject a new lease of life in the party, and I'll want you all to know that we are all the servants of the party as we scale up our mass mobilization for a resounding victory in the 2023 elections, he said. San UPF is targeting to garner 5 million votes with the Opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC setting its target at 6 million. Nangagwa, who has been endorsed as the party's 2023 presidential candidate, is likely to square off against CCC leader Nelson Chamisa for the second time after he won the 2018 polls with a slim margin. Corruption in all ugly forms at every level, we are dealing with decisively, and we will continue to fight corruption, he added. Agriculture Deputy Minister Douglas Cororo was arrested recently for stealing presidential farming inputs meant for communal farmers. Former Public Service Minister Petronella Cagani was yesterday convicted of corruption and awaits sentencing today.